Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror, the card game where we are currently playing the Dunwich Legacy campaign we are on our second scenario which is scenario 1A, extracurricular activity and our two intrepid investigators are Jenny Barnes who's at the administration building and Agnes Baker who is up here at the Orn Library we have just found Jazz Mulligan but time is running out because the experiment is on the move and it's heading towards the dormitories we still haven't found Professor Warren Rice it's a last ditch attempt to try and find him all right so we're just about to start episode 11 but just before we do that what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a slight error from last turn because I got a bit confuzzled I think it was David that pointed it out Jazz Mulligan who uh, Agnes found last uh, last episode is an ally and he has an ally keyword here and because of that I thought that we couldn't have both Jazz and Peter who's down here who's also an ally but you can and the reason is Jazz does not have an ally icon down here it doesn't go off the keyword here it goes off the icon down here so he doesn't have an icon whereas if you have a look at Peter Peter does have an icon. Now you can't have two allies that have got this icon unless you've got a card that's called Charisma which allows you to obviously be charismatic and have more than one ally. So we are okay to have both Jazz and Peter because Jazz does not have this particular symbol. If you remember Dr Francis Morgan who has gone into one of our, I think he's did a put in with Daisy He's gone into one of our decks anyway, one of the investigators' decks. He does have this icon. So we couldn't have Pro Professor Mor uh, Dr. Morgan and Peter, for example. So, But we can have Jazz. So that's good because it means we keep Peter. So there we go. Put him there with Jazz. Jazz essentially isn't a proper ally, I suppose. He's just wandering around with the keys, letting us in to places. So I, I think that's what the difference is there between Peter and Jazz. Okay, so I've gone through that. Next up, it will be episode 11 and the laugh and chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase. First things first, we've got to put Doom out. That's to Doom. And to Doom means that the experiment is going to move. So it now moves to the student union. Really, we're out of time here. So I don't think we're going to have a chance to take this on. We've got too much movement, obviously, and yeah it's i don't think it is going to happen but apologies to anybody who's expecting a big showdown i don't think we are going to get it oh another thing because uh we uh did the agenda that means the light of a four goldmon disappears so we'll put that over there and what have we got next it's just pulling cards isn't it encounter cards so we'll still have jenny going first and oh she gets a whippoorwill aloof hunter well we've seen these before so that'll pop that oh hang on oh wait a minute so we'll just pop that there remember it's aloof so it's not going to engage with us and i think what we're going to do yes we've got think on our feet trick fast play when an enemy would spawn at your location immediately move to a connecting location the enemy still spawns at your previous location so we may as well play this so that'll cost us one. Whoop. So one resource. We play Think on our feet. Where to move? We're still looking for Professor Rice. So we'll move to the faculty offices. This is not optimal play, by the way, because I'm role playing it. So Jenny has gone to faculty offices and she's found the door locked. She's like, oh, can't get in, can't get in. Now, I think she can move. The fact that the door isn't open means we just can't flip the card over. So I think she's okay to go there. So she's desperately trying to get in the door, thinking, oh, no, we've got, we haven't got a key. What are we going to do? 
and uh, she has moved there right that is it for her encounter card so next up is agnes's encounter card and she gets ancient e oh and she gets the one we didn't want Ugh, ancient evils omen revelation place one doom on the current agenda this effect can cause the current agenda to advance dark stirs is for a forces stir against you if you do not act quickly a sinister plot will be fulfilled tell us about it because what that means is i don't even think we're going to get a chance to resign there is a doom because we're not because um well we could during the investigation phase we could both get to miskatonic quad now and resign but as i say i'm role playing this I was hoping to search the faculty offices and then resign. But, um, yeah, we are going to give it a go. There is a reason why it's better to resign than actually let the experiment go to the dormitories. It's not a big difference. I'll point it out when it happens. But, uh, yes, I don't think we have got any chance now, thanks to getting Ancient Evils, which is a pig of a card. But then again, it's an encounter card. What did we expect? Right, so that is it for both of our investigators. And uh, next up, it is the investigation phase. Jenny, 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 what's Jenny going to do? Well, there's not a great deal she can do at the faculty offices because it's locked. So let's just try and get some of her sanity back. We may as well. I think she'd be there and she's waiting outside the door. Can't get in. And she's thinking, oh, I hope Agnes gets here soon. And she'll just hit her hip flask, I think. So let's do that. Why not? So she's going to take a swig and choose an investigator at location chooses herself to heal one horror and then she's got a test willpower two and her willpower is three is there anything we can chuck at it well we may as well get rid of the other liquid courage so that makes it four against two any other willpower icons no so four against two we are committing that so we need a minus two or better and we get a zero yes we always like to see a zero now i think we do quite well if if the test succeeds he or she heals one additional horror Woo! so that is two horror that is healed so she's back up to five because we can't resign this turn, I'd like to make sure, you know, she's um, she's not going to get something horrible in the encounter deck, which sends her insane just before we finish. Uh, should I do Liquid Courage again? No, I think five will be enough. So what can we do? We can draw cards. Let's draw a couple of cards. I think all the weaknesses have gone through, so we're all right. She gets another manual dexterity. And... Her next, let's get rid of all those because she's spending them. And her next card is a baseball bat, which is an asset. Let's put that up there. Okay, right. So those are her goals. As far as she's concerned, she's still got plenty of time, but uh, unfortunately, she cannot get into that faculty office. Next up, it is Agnes Baker. And here we are with Agnes, and unfortunately we're going to have to use every single one of her actions, all three, to move, and we're not going to get there in time. It's a bit of a blow, but that Ancient Evils has done for us. So, one action, two action, remember the Whippoorwill's aloof. Third action, we get here. But we can ignore this. Oh, so perhaps we do. It doesn't say action on here. So I think we can flip it. So yes, we did get to check the office because otherwise it would have had an action symbol on there. So we just flip it because we've got here and we do have Jazz Mulligan with us so we can ignore the fact that it's locked. 
Yep, it's got two shroud, it's location, Miskatonic, no clues there. There is no sign of Professor Rice in his office. You call his name and it echoes fruitlessly through the hall. Dun, dun, dun. This is because we got here because the hour is late, unfortunately. But I think that is what they would have done. They would have searched for him. They had promised Professor Ar Armitage they would do so. And they have looked. They've got to the faculty offices and he is not there. So that is a bit of a blow. And it's going to get even more of a blow. But not yet. Alright, that was the investigation phase. Next up is the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase. The experiment does not move because its uh, agenda hasn't clicked over, but the whippoorwill will move. But that's not too bad because it's still aloof. So that follows us to the faculty offices. I don't imagine it's actually in the faculty office. I suppose it's sat on the windowsill outside, really. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. So the Whippoorwill has moved into the faculty offices. Other than that, there's nothing else to do, so we can get straight into the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. There are no cards that need refreshing. So it's another card for Jenny Barnes. And she gets calling in favours. That would have been pretty good. Yeah. Choose ally asset you control and return it to your hand. Yeah. So not much use going through it. We, we, won't, we won't get to play it. But it is an event, so it goes down there. She gets two resources pop them on there and then we move across to Agnes she gets a card and what does she get she gets another Peter so Peter goes in there and she gets a resource as well oh and everybody gets their actions back they're not going to get any chance to use them I don't think but they get them back so there we go that is it for this round i think i will be back shortly with the next round but i'll just go and upload this so i'll come back shortly and we will start the next round And here we are at round 23. So the first thing we have to do is, I'm afraid, yes, we put the extra doom out. That means the experiment will move, unfortunately. And he is going to move to the dormitories. And I think that is it, because we now have to have a look at the agenda. Objective, if the experiment enters the dormitories, advance. It has not fast enough, I'm afraid. Before you are able to act, you hear screaming from the northern side of the campus. You begin to make your way toward the screaming, your vision darkening with each step. As soon as the creature enters sight, you feel the darkness overtake you and a force pulls you out of your consciousness. Everything goes black and you pass out. Each investigator immediately takes three horror and then we proceed to resolution four. So that is the end of the scenario, I'm afraid. We take three horror each. That puts Agnes down to two. And it puts Jenny down to two. And you see why I have Jenny have a little tot of liquid courage now. We'd avoided, we would have avoided that horror loss. I mean, it's okay because we haven't gone insane anyway. If we'd resigned, we'd have avoided that horror loss. But I'll just show you. Let's go to resolution four. So here we are. Resolution four, let's read it out. You are awoken hours later, exhausted and injured. 
You're not sure what you saw, but the sight of it filled your mind with terror. From other survivors, you learn that a rabid dog of some sort found its way into the university dormitories. The creature attacked the students inside, and many were mauled or killed in the attack. In your campaign log, record that the investigators were unconscious for several hours. In your campaign log, record that Professor Warren Rice was kidnapped. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Well, that's three. Each investigator earns one experience as he or she reflects on the night event. So that's four in total. We get four XP, so that's good. In your campaign log, record that the investigators failed to save the students. You are haunted by guilt. We must add a broken tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. So we will have a broken token, uh, a broken tablet token in the chaos bag from now on. If this is the first scenario of the campaign, it isn't. And uh, otherwise, advance to interlude one, Armitage's fate. So um, if we'd resigned, what would have happened, well, would, we'd have done resolution three, I think. Oh no, or resolution two. Du, 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 du. There's, a, there's something, there's a slight difference. I don't think we would have been unconscious for several hours. That is the difference. But we've got to record that now in the campaign log and that may pop up later. When you record things in your campaign log, there is normally a re reason for it. So we want interlude one. You can find it somewhere. Interlude one, Armitage's fate. Check campaign log. If the investigators were unconscious for several hours, read Armitage's fate one. See, we could have avoided this. But um, that bloody ancient evils did for it. You are more than a little rattled by your experiences in the university and the Clover Club. You're not sure what to make of whoever or whatever was after Rice and Morgan. Worried about Dr Armitage, you swiftly make your way back to his home. When you arrive, you find the latches of his front door have been busted open and his living area and study have been ransacked. Dr Armitage is nowhere to be found. Searching his home, you find a journal the intruders didn't steal tucked beneath several other documents in the bottom drawer of Armitage's desk. The journal appears to be written in a strange language you cannot decode, using a script you've never seen in your entire life. Fortunately, it seems Dr Armitage had already gone through the trouble of translating it into English. Apparently, it belongs to one Wilbur Waitley. The journal, along with Armitage's many notes, tells a startling tale, one you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences earlier tonight. In your campaign log, record that Dr Henry Armitage was kidnapped. Each investigator earns two bonus experience, as reading Wilbur's journal gives them insight into the hidden world of the mythos. The story continues in scenario two, the Miskatonic Museum. So you can see the reason why I wanted to resign. Unfortunately, we were not able to resign. Well, again, we were. I could have gone back and resigned, but I was role-playing it, and they would certainly, uh, both Jenny and Agnes, would have at least checked the offices for Professor Rice. So, unfortunately, Armitage has been kidnapped, and Rice has been kidnapped. Depending on which scenario you actually do, one or other of Dr Morgan or Professor Rice will get kidnapped. So if you do extracurricular activity first, you will uh, you can rescue Professor Rice, but Dr Morgan will get kidnapped and vice versa, like what's happened here. So that, uh, that is the end of extracurricular activity. We didn't do too bad. We got four experience points. All four of us are going to get an extra two because I'm having it that... All the investigators obviously go on to Prof Armitage's interlude. They all went to check on Professor Armitage. So everybody's got six XP, I think it works out, which is very fair. Everybody's got six XP, so uh, they will be able to spend some of that for Miskatonic Museum. Well, at least the two that are going to do Miskatonic Museum will be able to do that. Um, as far as this scenario went, I think it went very well. Just apart from that last bit, I did want to resign. I didn't want to be unconscious for a couple of hours and lose Professor Armitage, but that has unfortunately happened. Uh, don't worry too much in these campaigns about failing a scenario. 
it's going to happen you are going to fail a couple of scenarios at least what's important is just try and keep yourself healthy enough and sane enough to get through the whole campaign and if you can do that if you get to the final scenario you could still have a chance you know of pulling off the main win you know lose a couple of battles win the war so although we didn't manage to stop a load of of our students getting like eaten alive by the terrible experiment what we have done is we've managed to get some xp we'll be able to get better decks for the upcoming scenarios and we're still in with a chance nobody's got mental or physical trauma for example so that is good uh, didn't go as well as i hoped unfortunately we weren't able to get enough clues early on if we'd got a lot more clues early on we could have found jazz mulligan a lot quicker we could have actually had a look in the faculty offices a lot quicker because of that and then we may have had a couple of rounds where we could have actually got to the alchemy labs picked up that alchemical concoction and actually had a chance at trying to kill the experiment there is one other way that you can save the students you can actually get to the dormitories first and convince them to leave but you need six clues to do that and uh, there was no way the way we were picking up clues which was very badly we'd have never been able to get the six clues and get to the dormitories in time uh, so we, we lost it at the beginning really by not picking up clues quickly enough i think that's pretty much where it went wrong in addition to that I didn't play optimally because I was role playing it. Please don't bother putting it below. I know that's why I'm mentioning it now. But um, yes, I definitely think Agnes and Jenny would have followed Armitage's instructions and looked for Professor Rice first. So that was the w that's why I played it that way. I have played this scenario before, so I knew what was going to happen. But uh, I put that out of my mind and uh, played it like I thought it should be played. As I have mentioned, that wasn't optimally. Optimally, I would have waited in the quad and we'd have just thrown everything at the experiment, you know, with or without Jazz Mulligan. Yeah, but I, the reason why I didn't do that is I was playing the story. The story is more important to me than winning this particular scenario i hope that doesn't upset anybody who's watching but uh, that's just the way it is with me i do prefer to role play these games right so unfortunately the students have all been like eaten and professor armitage and professor rice have both been kidnapped but we have rescued professor morgan the next scenario will be the miskatonic museum i'll have a cogitate about which investigators i'm going to take i will also have to do the most boring part of this game which is i will be looking at what cards to take out and what cards to add in with their experience points but um i know some people like that sort of stuff but not me i find it horrendously boring it's the actual playing of the game that i like but uh yes i'll have to do a bit of that whatever investigators i pick for miskatonic museum i will go through any changes that i have made remember i've still only got a single core set so that makes any changes i make pretty difficult and it also makes swapping investigators around from their current teams pretty difficult as well for example agnes and who is it daisy share a lot of um, mystic cards and if i put them together then i've only got six xp to make sure that they mesh correctly which i probably can't do um, i think daisy could probably team up with jenny and similarly i think that um zoe could team up with agnes but i don't think we could get agnes and daisy together but you never know the more xp we get that gives us more flexibility with getting new cards so we'll have less crossover i think all right so actually so we ended up with six we ended up with six as mentioned the two extra XP you get for going around to Armitage's house, I'm also going to give that to Daisy and to Zoe, because I think all four of the Arkham Ladies Mystery Society would actually go to check the house out. If you don't like that, tough, because that's the way I'm doing it. So if you don't like it, by all means complain about it, but I'm going to take no notice. <laughs> 
Okay, right, I think I've gone through all I want to go through. Apart from, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed the Dunwich Legacy the first time I played it, even though, you know, I sort of played through it. I got beat a few times, and then I just carried on. But, uh, you know, properly beat, like um, somebody went insane, beat. Um, well, a few people went insane. But, uh, yeah, I went through it, so I, I do know it, but I will be playing it in this sort of role-playing fashion. So I hope that doesn't upset anybody, but it's just the way I like to play these games. Enough of that, anyway. I've mentioned that two or three times already. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thank you for all the help and support, all the likes and the dislikes. And as ever, yes, if I've made a mistake, obviously it's the end of this scenario, but let me know and I will try and fix it before we start Miskatonic Museum. You know, like last time I made a mistake with the XP thought Daisy and Zoe had five each. Well, I put that down to four. So if it's anything like that, I will try and fix it. Uh, other than that, if I can't fix it, I just can't fix it and we'll just have to carry on. Thanks to anybody who's been across to Board Game Links, anybody who goes over there to watch the videos. And if you watch the videos at BGG on the video threads there, thank you so much. Anybody who's made a comment at BGG or here on YouTube, thank you. Additionally, if you've dropped any geek gold or liked anything or whatever, Thank you so much. It is really appreciated. So thank you for sticking with the channel and thank you for joining in. We're having a laugh, aren't we? <laughs> right. Oh, so I hope you'll join me for the next episode. It'll be episode 12, but we will be starting a new scenario, the Miskatonic Museum. So I hope you join me for that. Until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.